looking very regal on its little stump there and it just enjoying the afternoon sunshine and I'm surprised it's not very hot and doesn't have its beak open and practicing a bit of gular flutter which is when they kind of almost pant like a dog would to be able to release that excess heat. Now I think it is an African pipit. I will have to just check but it's very very plain on the chest area so it's definitely not a bushveld pipit and it's got a quite a plain sort of back region so definitely going to try and have a look through my book just now and make sure we do see both um, the buffy pipit and the plainback pipit in this area as well so it could be the plainback pipit actually let me just check indeed it does look like the plainback pipit so if we have a look here this is what we're looking at so you can see that very 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 big supercilium that runs oh sorry my screen's a little bit dirty I do apologize but there's that supercilium that runs over the eye and then this very very plain chest and plain back and if we have a look at a photo of it very similar to the bird that we see sitting on the tree. So Rebecca is saying that my screen is far too dirty and we can't actually see it so I'm going to get Craig's very pink very beautiful little cloth. Craig let's show everybody your cloth because this is what Craig likes to use. He likes to have a bright pink polka dot cloth. Hopefully his bed linen is not the same although it can't be sure when it comes to Craig he's a man of mystery and he's a Batman so sometimes Batman likes his pink polka dot undies as well I'm sure he's got some in his cabinet and there we go is that better Craig there we go so that is the little bird we're looking at like I say plain back puppet which is a nice find in this area right